We need your help to better understand footwear marks. Footwear marks are a really important evidence type and we make them wherever we go on lots of different surfaces. We've got a brand new experiment that we need your help with. So let's get started. We would like you to create footwear prints so we can learn more about how footwear marks are made. For this experiment, you will need some oil, paper, a paintbrush, hot chocolate powder, some paper towels or cloths, a pen, some tape, a camera and a printed off scale. You can get this from our website. The first step is to cover the sole of one shoe with the oil. Be careful not to put too much on, but make sure you cover all the grooves and features. Use the paintbrush to do this. To make your first footwear print, step onto a clean piece of paper and step off again. Try and do this in one smooth movement. Make sure you wipe your shoe as soon as you step off the paper as your shoe will be very slippy. Now you've made your first print. But to make it a little clearer, you can use the hot chocolate powder to enhance the print. Sprinkle the powder all over the print and then tip off and blow away the excess. Do this six times to create a set of standing footwear prints. Make sure you note down standing replicate one, two, three, four, five and six on each of the standing footwear prints that you create. For the experiment, we would like you to make some prints while doing different activities, running, jumping and walking. We found the easiest way to set up the print for running is to do the experiment outside on a smooth surface where there's less chance of slipping. Mark a starting line and take a test run. Get a friend to put down a sheet of paper where you step on the ground. Tape this paper down securely so it doesn't move around. Then add some oil to what the sole of one shoe and take a run. Hopefully you should land on the paper while you're running and create a footwear mark. We would like you to repeat this six times. Don't forget to note on the paper, run replication one through to six. Next, take a jump. Remember to tape down your paper and don't forget your six replicates. And finally, create some prints while walking. Again, we would like six of these. It's important to repeat each activity so we can compare the differences in the marks that are made. Not all of them will be clear and that's fine. We want to see how much variation there might be in marks made from the same shoe. In order to do this, we'd like you to take some pictures of your shoes and the prints that you have made. So we can compare the marks that have been made with the original shoe. For the shoe, we'd like you to take pictures of the left side, right side, top and sole of your shoe. To take the picture, make sure the camera is at 90 degrees and lay the shoe and prints on the floor. If you have access to a tripod, you can use this to stabilise your camera and make sure that you're at 90 degrees to the shoe or print. Once you've taken your photographs, you can compare the prints you've made. Is it easy to match the prints with the original shoe? Can you identify any distinguishing marks or wear patterns on the prints? Try measuring these and see if the measurements are the same on the prints and on the shoe. How accurate do you think this process is? Is there much variability between the replicates of walking, jumping, standing and running? We would love for you to upload the prints you've made and contribute to our research. You can do this on our website at dundee.ac.uk forward slash Lieberhume and we have a simple form to collect the data. Your pictures will contribute to research in this area and will help us better understand how footwear marks are made and how accurately we can identify the original shoe from any marks. Thank you for contributing to this project and don't forget to let people know you've taken part on social media.